Welcome to our video on industrial automation and control systems. I'm Ryan Chan, CEO and founder of Upkeep. Today we're going to demystify two key players in the industrial world, PLC and SCADA. We'll discuss their differences, their unique roles, and how they work together to streamline processes in the industrial setting. Stay tuned to learn how these systems form the core of a predictive maintenance program and how they could potentially revolutionize the way you approach maintenance and operations in your enterprise. Now let's dive into the world of industrial automation and control systems. We're going to talk about two key players in this field, PLC, which stands for Programmable Logic Controller, and SCADA, short for Supervisory Control and Data Acquisition. Now what sets these two apart? Well, the primary difference lies in the fact that a PLC is a piece of hardware, while SCADA is generally software. Some might argue that SCADA is a plant's overall control system incorporating both hardware and software elements. Regardless of how you define them, both PLC and SCADA are used in industrial settings and are often used together, but they are two very distinct systems. Let's start with PLCs. These are designed to control complex industrial processes like running machines and motors. They are easy to program and can be scaled to meet the needs of any operation. Plus, they're used to collect data from the systems they control. Think of them as a major upgrade over the old relays and timers that were once used to control industrial machinery. PLCs can handle much more complex tasks. Now let's talk about SCADA. This is a central system used to monitor and run plant processes. It's typically software installed on a computer, and one of its major functions is to act as an interface with industrial machines. This is also known as a human machine interface, or HMI. In simple terms, it allows users to track information coming in from equipment, enter commands, and make changes to their programming. SCADA systems are often used in conjunction with PLCs, and other devices. In fact, some would say that a PLC would be part of a SCADA system. Data from PLCs and remote terminal units, or RTUs, are relayed to the system, and commands are entered into the HMI to make adjustments to the processes they control. So what's the relationship between PLCs and SCADA? When used together, SCADA software and PLCs form an automatic system for prescribing maintenance tasks, forming the core of a predictive maintenance program. Here's how it works. First, data from sensors on individual assets is transmitted to the PLC. Then, the PLC translates that data into a format that can be used by the software. Users can access this data through the HMI on the software. If the data crosses certain thresholds, a maintenance work order is created. Let's take an example. If a turbine is showing too much vibration, Sensors transmit that data through the system, and the readouts on the user end would trigger a work order. In this application, SCADA software controls the entire system, while PLCs act as relay points and controllers for specific assets. So there you have it, a simple breakdown of the differences and relationship between PLCs and SCADA. These two systems, though distinct, work hand in hand to ensure smooth and efficient industrial processes. Thank you for watching this video. We've discussed the differences and relationship between PLCs and SCADA and how they form the core of a predictive maintenance program. If you found this content valuable, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more insightful videos. For more information, visit our website at upkeep.com. Stay tuned for more and remember, the future of maintenance is here.